stability fixed in March and in April, and we will move on. So I, I do not think that will impact one August. Um, the second question was about the helmet. Um, so very broad brush, very quickly, um, the escape system on the airplane today has a restriction that uh, anyone that, any pilot, male or female, that weighs less than 136 pounds cannot fly the airplane. The, the reason for that is threefold. Um, the primary reason is because we believe that a person that weighs less than 136 pounds has a neck that is not as strong as someone above 136 pounds. Um, and because of the forces during ejection, some of those caused by the seat and the parachute itself, and some of those caused by the fact that the helmet weighs too much, create stresses on the neck of that lightweight pilot. The airworthiness authorities thought, not a good idea, we'll just put a restriction there. We have flight tested and figured out the fixes to the seat, and those are going to be ready for incorporation into the production line and retrofit by about November of this year. I took a briefing about two months ago where we, hit, where we were trying to get the helmet to remove six ounces. That's how much we have to remove from the helmet to get it within uh, the weight. The helmet weighs in about 5.1 pounds right now, the Gen 3 helmet, and we gotta get it down to about 4.6 to 4.8 pounds. That schedule showed me that that helmet wouldn't be ready until late 2017. That was not good enough. So I sent the team back. Uh, the good news is the team did a lot of hard work, industry and, and the program spent 136 pounds with the lighter helmets at first, and then we will continue to produce from November, no, November of this year on the lighter helmets for good. Uh, concerns, it was too heavy, and when, and, and what was the concern? Um, the, the visor on the helmet is, is manufactured to very precise tolerances because it's like a screen, it's a display. Um, what we planned on doing was they, there was a second visor that was a darker visor that came down, so you were actually carrying on your helmet two visors. Well, if you need to lose weight on a helmet and you don't wanna change a whole lot of things, one thing you can do is remove one of the visors and now have the pilot, just like our legacy airplanes, put either a dark visor or a light visor on. Taking that visor that is manufactured to very precise levels and making it removable and having the pilot be able to put that on and make sure that it's aligned so that he sees right um, is a manufacturing you know, difficulty. And, and they were saying that it was gonna take two years to figure that out. Um, they found some uh, added tooling, they got some smart people, manufacturing folks on the, on the job, and they figured out a way to do it in, in a year instead of two years. Hey, sir, uh, Colonel Charlie Wells from the U.S. Army. We've had